welcome back to my channel, my name is Tam and welcome back to Guild Wars 2. So, today we are going to continue with leveling in uh, Guild Wars 2 in Central Tyria. Now we are in Queensdale and we are, we are leveling my little beautiful Mesmer and yeah. So basically that's what's happening right now and let me see what do we have to do. We have to discover this part of the map and oh my god, I actually haven't seen this heart over here. Have I missed any scouts? Nope, I have not. And that is very, very good news because I usually miss scouts. And I think that I missed something in this area right here. But we're going to return to that later. I think that there is a path that goes through the mountain and exits somewhere around here. So we need to return to that area as well. But first of all, we're going to do this part over here. So uh, let's do this, you guys. We are continuing with leveling i am extremely excited and i think that we are going to le reach level 24 today uh, in the next couple of minutes five five to ten minutes so yeah uh alrighty let me see uh come on inspiration thank you <laughs> i'm waiting for my signet of inspiration to kick in and actually signet of inspiration is going to get nerfed i am so sad about that and the reason why I like uh, Mesmer is because of its Signet of Inspiration, but what can you do? If they nerf it, they nerf it. And I'm thinking that the boss is going to appear anytime, because people are waiting. Actually, only one person is waiting. Okay, never mind. Oh my god, I'm missing this. Okay. So, there is a waypoint, not, not waypoint, the Vista way over there. And I, I kind of have to jump on it. I just can't remember. Oh, this way. Nice. So there is a vista over here. There's a couple of ways to get to this vista, so you can basically go other way. You do not have to use the same way I was using, and yeah, all right. So we finished those two things. Now I have to finish this heart, this hero point, and these two things. So uh, heart is going to be the last thing that I'm going to do. Uh, because I think that I will finish everything else in the meantime, but because it says destroy portals and kill minions, we can do this right away. It's not a big deal. And uh, I don't know what I'm killing right now, because the portal is actually getting down as well. Okay, come on, let's do this. And I think that something is going to appear from the portal. I don't know what, I actually cannot remember this quest, it, it's been a long, long time since I was doing this quest, come on. Nice, yeah, um, uh, Atex or something? I don't know, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's, he's level 15, so. This is a little bit of a higher level area, it's not that, uh, that high, I think that this is the highest Thing in this particular map but yeah the quests are inter interesting basically on in this part in this little area you can uh, get a boss to spawn uh, every hour yeah I think every hour and it is the first world boss that you're going to run into it is the shadow baymot and it was actually the first boss I ever uh, encountered encountered sorry and if you, it was really interesting. Uh, basically, a huge amount of people is fighting to kill one boss. Really, really interesting. And if you're just starting the game, that is something that is going to pull you into the game. Oh my God! I remember when I was when I was doing that that, and I was so excited. And actually, I was so scared because I didn't know what kind of community is in here. And it. It ended up being a really good community. I am extremely happy with this game and the community and this of this game. So yeah, the community is very nice and respectful. Let's let's say res res respectful. So uh, what do I have to do? Uh, close portals, vanquish portal minions, and put tortured spirits to rest. Okay, so I actually missed the spot because yeah. All right. Uh, tortured, show me what torment your spirit. Okay, never mind. Let's go this way and see if I can find the tortured spirits. I think that they're a little bit easier than closing the portals. I don't know. I cannot remember, you guys. Yeah, when you see a tortured spirit that is going like this, you cannot you cannot interact with him. 
Uh, I think you cannot interact with him, or I'm making a mistake, I don't know. No, you cannot. Alright. I think that we're, we're just going to close the portals. It's faster, it's easier, and there's a lot of portals around here. So, let's get back to this area over here where we had a lot of portals, and we're just going to close them all. And the boss spawns in this area over here. Uh, show me, okay. Oh! Nice! Okay, come on. Basically, when you talk to Tortured Spirit, you kill the freaking shade that is attacking it, and you help the Tortured Spirit, uh, and he is becoming a restful one. Okay, now I I hit the wrong thing. Oh boy, the classic the classic story of a mesmer. You always hit the wrong thing because this thing has a range of uh, I I don't know. The range of this thing is hell of a big. Okay, let's talk to Tortured Spirit. Show me what tortures you, Spirit. Nice, high shade. And let's destroy this one. And we're going to talk to this, this to the second Tortured Spirit. And basically, that's the entire quest line. Uh, heart line, sorry. That's the entire, entire heart. So, I don't know how much more parts do we need to do to finish Queensdale. I'm hoping in the next. 5 to 10 parts that we're going to finish Queensdale. Queensdale is a little bit bigger, but yeah, we'll see you guys. I'm not in a hurry, but I do want to get to level 80 as soon as possible, so I'm kind of binge filming these. So if you sometimes uh, hear me say something that happened long time ago, that means that I pre-filmed it because I wanted to level up Mesmer. Alright, let's destroy this, and yay! I, I actually had to kill two fireflies. And this is the main problem of range classes. Uh, they attack everything that they see. And I actually have the auto attack on, it's not the <laughs> game's fault. I have, to, I have to turn off the auto attack, you guys. But for now it's working, alright. Let's go with this. Okay, so we are killing these shades and closing the portals. Nothing special. Not the most fun quest ever, but yay, it's going to work. Okay, next portal, come on. And I'm just going to grab a sip of my coffee. Are you guys excited about the Halloween event? I am extremely excited about the Halloween event. I cannot wait for it to start. Oh my god, I think it's going to be really awesome. And, uh, as I said, if I'm talking about something that already started, that means I pre-filmed it. Uh, and I think I'm currently talking about something that started on a Tuesday. So, yeah, I don't know when this video will be live. Uh, or... Yeah, I think on Wednesday? Am I not... Am I making a mistake? Yeah, on a Wednesday. Yeah, this is... Uh, today's Wednesday. So basically, the Halloween event should start yesterday! Yay! But it's Tuesday, it's uh, Saturday right now when I'm filming this. So I'm really, really excited about Halloween event. I cannot wait for it to start, you guys. I haven't played the game last year when that event uh, was uh, active. So I'm really excited about this, uh, about it this year. Oh my god, I think it's going to be really awesome! Oh, I love the Winter's Day event. And I like the uh, Lunar New Year one, so I'm I'm really looking forward to this one. It's going to be the first time me playing it, so yay! And I'm hoping that I can get the what's it called, the special back piece, uh, the uh, event back piece. I think it's going to be really cool. I saw the one from the last year, and it was the bats flying all over all around your character. So I think it's going to be really fun. For example, for a necromancer, those bats are awesome. Okay. So, we finished that. Next. Okay, let me just, uh, let me switch uh, my weapons a little bit and see if I can uh, kill a little bit faster. I don't know. I don't know what has the uh, biggest attack, but let's switch it to my uh, little uh, wand. Not, not wand, staff. Sorry, staff. <laughs> and something is going to appear, yay! 
It's not the biggest attack, but it, it can work. Yay, nice. Next, no, 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 no. And we have a couple of tortured spirits in this area, if I'm not mistaken. I see one. I'm hoping to see more of them. Okay, show me what torture, tortures your spirit and shade tortures him. Nice. So let's try to kill this. Actually, I like the staff. It's really interesting. I still haven't decided what kind of weapon weapon um, set I want to use. Uh, I haven't thought about it, uh, but I was thinking about going on condition damage with a mesmer, but we'll see you guys. Still, still not sure what I want to do, because I haven't been exploring this a lot, so we will see. I will make sure to let you know what am I uh, basically building, and when we get to level 80, I think I'm going to do a build video where I show you guys what we made, and I think that I will have enough money back uh, then to finish the, what's it called, the equipment and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, let me just un discover this waypoint over here, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss it later on. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, we are almost over with this heart. This is one hell of a long heart. I didn't expect this to happen. I was hoping that this is going to be a little bit shorter one. But it ended up being extremely, extremely long. So, uh, there's a tortured, tortured spirit over there. And I hit the branch. And there's a tortured spirit over here. So, we're going to work on those. And I cannot talk to this torture spirit. Nice. Can I talk t to to you? Yeah, I can talk to you, hopefully. Yay! Show me what tortures your spirit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> oh, this is a cool skill. Look at this. And we got a level! Level up! Nice, 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 nice. We got a level up, we got a level up, level 24, and we got an amulet. Let's go with this one for condition damage, because I said I'm I'm going to do to do condition damage, so uh, this is practically the same, because we had 14 plus, uh, not 14, 16 plus 4, and now we just have 20, so it's basically the same. Let's talk to this one. Oh my god, a terrible, terribly long quest. Nice. And what did you hit? Nothing. Great. Great, great, great. So you guys, let me know in the comments down below, what do you like to do in Guild Wars 2? Have you leveled uh, anything recently? This is actually the first class I'm leveling in... Ooh. In a really, really long time. So, yeah, I can enjoy enjoy it, but sometimes I, I don't know. Sometimes I hate it. And as you can see, secrets in the swamp. Underworld forces have been spotted outside the swamp. Time remaining to draw out Shadow Baymont. You have 14 minutes to draw out Shadow Baymont, and there should be a lot of people around in this area. I don't think I will do it, because it will take a long, long time for, it, for me to do it. And I do not want to basically just stand there and wait for Shadow Bohemoth Bo 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 to die. So I am kind of not tortured, but <laughs> I'm a little bit confused because I don't know what I want to do. But never mind, we, we will figure something out. I think that we're not going to do the Shadow Bohemoth now. And actually these people can help me destroy these portals because they are here. Yay, and there's a shade from it. Nice. And I don't know what this is. Ranger? No, Guardian. Sorry. Guardian. Okay. Not the shade, the portal. Oh, never mind. Okay. And the only thing that is really, really annoying for me is that I always hit something that I do not want to hit. How? I have absolutely no idea. But it always happens to me. And it is the annoying, annoying thing about the Mesmer. So, we finished finally this with this heart. And now we are going to 
this area over here. So let's go, you guys. I'm not going to wait for Shadow Bo Boy mod because I am not interested in doing it right now. But if you are in the area and if you're leveling, please make sure to stay in this area because you can get amazing loot if you are just starting with the game and don't have money to buy uh, yourself an equipment. I have enough money to buy an equipment, so I'm not going to wait for it. And yeah. Oh god. Mm. So, uh, if you're hearing that I'm a little bit stuffed up, I'm really really sorry. I have a cold still. And it has actually been two weeks or something like that. And it's really annoying. I was hoping that the cold is going to stop um, faster. <laughs> but it, it, it it's not stopping, you guys. My, my nose is killing me. Not my throat is killing me. And yeah. But I wanted to film, I wanted to play, so here I am. I hope you guys don't mind my stuffy nose. Okay, so let's discover uh, fight centers, recover recover stolen ale, protect the monastery, clear grubs from the fields, okay. And taste test new ale. Uh, there's one thing that I usually do in this area, I'm just getting the grubs out of the grub pits, and that's how grub, you pull the grub tail, and you kill the de disintegrated, this disgruntled, sorry, disgruntled grab, and that's all that I do for this, for this quest. Okay, pull another. And let's just do this. This is the next heart, we're going to discover this waypoint and stuff like that around here. And yeah, we are going, we're doing really, really well with this map. We are actually faster than with the other map, so I'm really happy about it. And there should be a tail somewhere around here, nope, I made a mistake. Oh, there should be a tail somewhere up there, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm kinda confused, yeah, there is one tail over here, pull it, and basically when you finish all of them, the first one is going to respawn, so you will always have a grub tail to, to pull out. And, uh, what is this? Oh, the Shadow Baymoth is here, so we have a portal. Oh, never mind, you guys. <laughs> I forgot about this. So I'm just going to wait for uh, the grub tails to uh, sp spawn back in. So I'm just going to go outside, discover this waypoint, and this vista, and this point of interest, I think. Yeah. So that is what I'm going to do first, and then we're going to return back and finish with the grub tails. This is the 14 out of 16, we are at 70% 70 70 done with this map. We're doing pretty well, you guys. Pretty, pretty well. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a little circle that should teach you how to... Whoopsie, I clicked on a wrong thing. Oh, no, no, my bad. Um, there is a little circle in every single area that should teach you how to dodge, so basically to do this. And I thought that that was it, but apparently not. My mistake. Okay, let's uh, view this vista. Nice, this is second to last vista. Nice, you, we only have one more vista to do. No oh, and as you can see, there's a big, big red circle on the map. That means that Shadow Baymot is alive, or that the boss for that area is alive, and I'm in the wrong spot. Oh boy. So, let's get back inside, and let's continue with the grubs. And there is a grub tail, yay! Uh, escort the carnival caravan to Beetle Toon. Oh, you can do that as well if you want. I'm not going to do it. And we also have to talk to the scout, and not for, I uh, should not forget about that. I mustn't forget because my next heart is not going to unlock if I forget to talk about this. Uh, talk with the scout, sorry. Uh, and we have a grab tail over here. And we're going to talk to the scout before uh, all of the other grubs respawn. Nice. And the last one that is in the area. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Hi. Actually, love the staff. Uh, way. Way better than I like the um, the great sword, so we will we will stay on the staff portion of <laughs> portion of the uh, mesmer right now. Okay, let's just jump up. 
This is usually not the way to get to the scout, but hey, who can blame me? Nice. And he unlocked the next three cards, so yay! Now, let's get back downstairs and see if we have any grubs around here. Nothing yet, we're just waiting. I'm just going to wait for the grubs to reappear. And I think that the next round is going to be enough for, um, for this heart, I'm hoping. And... Yeah, also one one more way that you can uh, recognize that the uh, boss is live is it says the beast has awakened. So it's not it's not the same for every single boss monster in the area, but for this particular area, it's like that. And every single starting area has a boss. So no matter uh, which race uh, are you playing, you're going to get a monster for that area for sure. I just cannot remember what monster are you getting in Plains of Ashford. That that's the problem right now. I I cannot remember for the life of me, guys. All right. I know for Wayfarer Foothills for Metrica. I know for Queensdale. I know for Caledon Forest, but I cannot remember for Plains of Ashford. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. I'm forgetting things. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please be the last thing. Yay! We finished it! Heart 12 out of 17. And I think that this is going to be everything for this part, you guys. We are running out of time. So, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this game. Uh, what is your favorite class? What is your favorite race? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. I post usually The Sims 4, but Guild Wars 2 is uh, one of the major parts of my channel. So, uh, if you're here for Guild Wars 2 content, don't worry. I'm going to have a lot of Guild, War co Guild Wars 2 content for you guys. So, that is going to be everything for now. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!